A couple of weeks ago, the federal government ordered new protections for the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. The Biden administration closed off thousands of miles of land around Ely to mineral leases. The move blocks a proposed mine near a lake that flows into the BWCA. Minnesota Republican Congressman Pete Stauber is strongly opposed to the president's decision. Congressman Stauber represents the 8th Congressional District. I talked to him earlier this morning. Take a look. Well, joining us now is 8th District Congressman Pete Stauber. Thanks for coming on. It's great to be with you. Okay. I do want to talk about the boundary waters and the reaction of your constituents, but I want to ask you quickly about two things. The vote against Ilhan Omar, you are one of the Republicans, all Republicans voted against her. Do you stand by that vote? Uh, Ken Buck from Colorado, Representative Ken Buck, is quoted as saying it's the, was the stupidest vote ever. I stand by my vote. Uh, uh, Representative Omar has proven she can't be objective uh, on the Foreign Affairs Committee with her uh, anti-Semitic uh, uh, views. All right, let me ask you, uh, shifting gears here, to that balloon, the Chinese balloon that was shot down over the coast of South Carolina. It had been drifting over the U.S. for much of the week. There has been criticism from some Republicans that the president didn't act quickly enough and he should have shot it down earlier. What are your thoughts? Well, listen, the, the communist country of China has been trying to take down the United States, both economically and militarily, for many years now. And I think that uh, uh, having a, a balloon, uh, whatever information it was gathering, should not have been allowed um, in, in the United States airspace. So, you know, as the Department of Defense and other agencies find out what was going on, um, uh, I think it's appropriate that... Uh, that we protect our airspace. Uh, I think that some would would uh, have uh, rather have that shot down earlier. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, let's wait and see. Uh, but again, the communist country of China has been trying to take this country down for many years, and we have it's an adversarial nation, uh, and we have to protect the interests of the United States of America. I want to talk to you about the decision by President Biden to set aside 225,000 acres of land for mining for the next 20 years. So it can't be mined for the next 20 years. You talk, you call are calling that an attack on our way of life. And I've just been reading on social media letters to the editor. There is a lot of anger in your district over this. Can you explain that? Well, first off, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've been mining for 135 years in uh, northern Minnesota, and, and this, this mining ban uh, is purely political. This administration uh, didn't even allow an environmental impact statement to move forward for political reasons. Uh, they uh, banned mining uh, on the Iron Range, and that includes taconite, copper, nickel, uh, cobalt and platinum group metals that we use every single day in our lives. Uh, and yet, this administration enters into a mem memorandum of understanding with the Congo to mine these same critical minerals who use child slave labor. And that's a fact. Over 40,000 children every single day are forced to mine these minerals with no environmental standards and no labor standards. And I think that's immoral. We as a country should not ever by any critical mineral mined by child slave labor uh, from an adversarial nation. All right. It looks like Polymet uh, might still be alive, though, because that's not included in this land grab, this land situation. Are you confident that that will be able to go forward? Well, listen, uh, it's in its 20 year uh, of permitting, and, and one of the things that uh, we're going to focus on is uh, permitting uh, uh, changes in our permitting system to make it more transparent. Uh, uh, a, a system that works for everybody, and I think that as Polymet goes through, uh, you're going you're gonna to see the the ability to have um, the uh, the permitting reforms uh, to be shown to the general public, and you're going to. Uh, I, I really think, Esme, you're going to see a need to mine these critical minerals in this country because the fact of the matter is, uh, if uh, the communist country of China and Russia stop selling their critical minerals to the world, we are going to be in a world of hurt. Uh, and so what we have to do is uh, change our permitting uh, the process. And I have a, I have a, a piece of uh, legislation called uh, Permitting for Mining Needs that uh, allows the, the transparent, open uh, process to permit mines, uh, you know, in a shorter time frame, but without out, uh, reducing any standards in the same watershed as uh, Twin Metals, 41 miles north 
the uh, uh, Ontario, Canada opened up a mine in the same watershed, 41 miles north in three years. We can do it too. All right. Well, Congressman Pete Stalbert, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.